she calls our people deplorable, a large group, and irredeemable. I will be a president for all of our people. So I have a deep devotion, to use your absolutely correct word, to making sure that every American feels like he or she has a place in our country. And I think when you look at the letters that I get, a lot of people are worried that maybe they wouldn't have a place in Donald Trump's America. Within hours, I, I said that I was sorry about the way I, I um, talked about that because my argument is not with his supporters, it's with him and with the hateful and divisive campaign that he has run and the inciting of violence at his rallies and the very uh, brutal kinds of comments about not just women, but all Americans, all kinds of Americans. And what he has said about African Americans and Latinos, about Muslims, about POWs, uh, about immigrants, about people with disabilities, he's never apologized for. And so I do think that a lot of the tone and tenor that he has said, I'm proud of the campaign that Bernie Sanders and I ran. We ran a campaign based on issues, not insults, and he is supporting me 100%. Thank you. Because we talked about what we wanted to do. We might have had some differences, and we had a lot of debates. Thank you, Secretary. But we believed that we could make the country better, and I was proud of that. I'll give you a minute, 20 seconds. We have a divided nation. We have a very divided nation. You look at Charlotte. You look at Baltimore. You look at the violence that's taking place in the inner cities, Chicago. You take a look at Washington, D.C. We have a increase in murder within our cities, the biggest in 45 years. We have a divided nation because people like her, and believe me, she has tremendous hate in her heart. And when she said deplorables, she meant it. And when she said irredeemable, they're irredeemable. You didn't mention that. But when she said they're irredeemable, to me that might have been even worse.